Today, right here on Fox at 8.30 Eastern Time, a key inflation report will be released. We're going to bring that to you live in our 8 a.m. hour. And then at 10 a.m., a special hearing on Iran policy and restricting rogue state revenue, the stronger sanctions on energy that could come out of it. And also at 4.15 this afternoon, Zelensky will meet with Biden and congressional leaders in a push for more aid. We have the press conference in Washington. It's all live today right here on Fox. Now, over to you, Brian. All right, thank you very much. Changely, great job. I can't. President Biden falling behind several Republican rivals in hypothetical matchups, namely in key swing states that he won in 2020. So, Angela, let's look at the numbers and see how it will impact the campaign as we inch closer to election day. We're going to. Biden getting 40 percent. He won in 2016 in this state, which is usually a blue state. Biden won by 2.8 points in 2020. Look at his approval rating. Biden's job performance, 35 percent, Lawrence. Pretty close. Close in line, especially Michigan. She's getting 50%. Biden's getting 38%. Pretty astonishing because Michigan, what's happening in Michigan? Well, it looks like the Muslim voters that are there, uh, the manufacturing jobs the economy is really hitting Michigan yeah, right now. Yeah. Uh, let's go to the next hypothetical with Ron DeSantis. Exactly. With the benefits of slavery. Of slavery. Yeah. Okay, look at Michigan. DeSantis is getting 49%. Joe Biden's getting 42%. He's doing better than Joe Biden in the state of Michigan. And Biden won in the last election there. I mean, it, it just shows you that. Biden has, is being hit from both mm -hmm. sides. He's been hit by the progressives mm -hmm. in his party, but also the independent voters. And of course, the Republicans are not going to give him a shot like some of them did in the past election because the economy just isn't doing so well. So Trump well, wins so. in a hypothetical matchup in both of those states. Nikki Haley wins in both of those states. Ron DeSantis loses to Joe Biden in this poll in Georgia, but he wins in Michigan. Let's see how it impacts this election. All right, Brian, over to you. All right, uh, thanks so much, guys. Good job. Uh, meanwhile, turning out your headlines stand about how wonderful an Italian Christmas is. We're not even there yet, and the Giants already lead the league in kisses. Oh, it's an all-American story. Yeah. And the reason people are really buying in is if you grew up in the tri-state area, everybody knows somebody named Tommy DeVito. And now he signed this three-year contract, making more than two million, living at home because he says his mom does his laundry and cooks some chicken cutlets. Yeah. And he lives like 12, 14 minutes away from the Giants facility. Yeah, it's actually well. Yeah. It's a, which, by the way, if anyone knows. We for Christmas and Thanksgiving, like turkey and mashed potatoes and green beans. When I moved up here, all my Italian friends were like, over. We serve lasagna. Yeah, yeah. We and, have mozzarella. And it's, and it's every meal. Like Tommy yeah. DeVito was that kid who had Bill Maher salad lunch. <laughs> right. <laughs> Eating a lunch okay. bowl, my friends having bologna and cheese. Like, Tommy, is that one? I would trade. Oh, I would trade. Any day of the week, I traded to the DeVitos. <laughs> Love the Italians. Thank you so much. Great best. to see you. All right, third hour of Fox and Friends starts right now.